to the start. It's the Ford EcoBoost 400. For a lot of this race, we are going to be talking about the lines around the track, the lines that these cars will take. We're seeing them down at the bottom of the racetrack now. As the race progresses, they will also move up to the wall, all the way around this track. See the dust from the speedy drive that they put down. The Regan Smith's car. Nothing to worry about. These guys got plenty of grip out there on this abrasive racetrack. Mark Truex Jr. is on the bottom. Bottom's normally really good on starts, but you saw Joy Legano get by. Now Kyle Kurt Busch driving by. Championship four and where they run. Kevin Harvick up front. Kyle Busch has third. Legano fourth. And Martin Trex Jr. is ninth right now. And here is how Kevin Harvick got the lead. He stole it away from Denny Hamlin with this move. I just didn't see the four car being this good today. He's not had the speed in practice on Friday. Really didn't have that great of a practice on Saturday. Those guys went to work last night. I'm telling you, I am impressed with what they've been able to do, the changes they made to this car. He is by far the, the fastest of the four, obviously with the lead, driving away, like much faster than these guys. It ain't even close. Yeah, the interesting thing to be about it is, you know, they made those changes not based on how fast the car was, but on Kevin Harvick's field. You know, I just need to feel something different. I need a, a better feeling car. You know, that's, we talk about it a lot, Steve. Like, what matters is speed. Like, sometimes the driver's got to just deal with it, but Kevin Harvick's saying, hey, I, I need something different and making those changes based on his feel. Harvick is out front by two seconds over Larson, then it's Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, and Martin Truex Jr. What did Joey Logano say? The big three and me? Well, now it's the championship four and Larson. We have five competitors here that I think really anyone in the top five has good enough cars with the right adjustment to win this race. And you can't count out Denny Hamlin right now running in sixth. He has been strong as well, Marty. Good point about the information flow from Steve. So what they have been doing, Tony Gibson's been asking Kevin Harvick about every 15 laps as we come to one to go in this stage, what's the chassis feeling like right now? So every 15 laps, he's getting that update, Steve. Good, good catch. That's what you have to do. Jeff mentioned it. It's the final lap right here, Rick, but we talk about new tires, old tires, drivers, they're focused. If you ask Kevin Harvick how it drove on the first lap of this run, he doesn't remember. He knows how it drives now. It's your responsibility as a crew chief to get that information. And the championship four continuing to compete against each other. And as Kevin Harvick works his way out of turn number four, he is going to be the first to claim a victory. He will win stage one. And Jeff. Kyle Larson ran the fastest lap that last time around, and so maybe a unique line is going to get him back up front and in contention to win this race again. He's willing to try it. Yeah. I think it's fair to say of all the drivers on this racetrack, this guy right here, he'll go places other people aren't, trying to find speed. Well, of the top five cars, he has the least to lose. The other four are trying to win a championship. Kyle Larson's trying to win a race. Yeah, but Steve, tell me, man, man when you've got a driver that'll move around like that, doesn't that make you feel good as a crew chief? Because you know when the car is it's not working on the bottom, you know it's just a matter of time for your guys going to go looking. Yeah, I mean, help me out, right? As we see Kevin Harvick get caught in lap traffic on the bottom, if Kyle Larson can get around the top here clean, he's going to have a heck of a run down the front stretch, Rick. And oh. could be battling for maybe the win in stage two. Harvick to the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Larson on the high side. Again, Huge Larson's run. still fighting for points. Larson wants to end up top five in the point standing. And now he's going to battle. How hard will Kevin Harvick fight him for this? Harvick to the bottom of the racetrack again. Larson with the momentum. Here he comes on the high side. Kyle Larson slingshots out of turn four. And Larson is going to win stage two. Logano, Harvick, side by side. Final stage underway. Interesting for Logano to pick the high side there. Tough to hold off this four car running that bottom, but he's on that court panel, Jeff. 
four car clarity. Oh, he it. Yeah, he lost a little bit of momentum right there. The bottom's been the way to go on these restarts. That's what I thought. I was surprised, just like you, the 22 picking that outside line. See the 22 still using the middle of the racetrack. Everybody else on the bottom. Kyle Busch is behind this. You saw he cleared everybody for fifth. It's a dog fight behind him. Look at that mess Kyle Busch got in front of. Look who's in front of that dog fight. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson still searching for his first win of 2018. How about Harvick up the racetrack? Shocked to see him up there that early. Look how low the 22 is going to get away from the side draft of the four car. The two fighting for the lead. Logano to the inside. Harvick staying up high. Here comes the 78. Things are heating up. Logano up front. Harvick running second now. Side drafting and will Martin Truex Jr. complete the pass as they go into one. Harvick struggling on these sticker tires. Here's it. Here's this run. I'm shocked to see him up the racetrack. He's been a model mugger all day long and now he's in the middle of the track. Yeah, he's got some balance issues that I don't think he's had all day long. Costing a lot of time right now. That car though has done this before and cycled to the good, gotten this, got the speed back. If you look as he goes to the bottom of the track, here he comes. And yeah, that's a great point. Steve talked about it before the last run. It was a short run. So maybe they did a little bit of air pressure change, make that thing fire off. Now they're back to their normal setup. Battle for the lead. Joey Logano now has his hands full. Here comes the 78. Martin Truex Jr. trying to make that lower line work. Martin Truex Jr. had been a little bit quicker than Joey and kind of closing in, but on that last lap, the 47 car played a huge role in that pass right there. The 22 went to the bottom of the track, the 78 to the high side, and he got a huge run on the 22. Remember those two touched right at the restart. Martin. And they're still fighting side by side. Mark Trix Jr. closed in from a second back in six laps. He's got a great race car. The 22, the short run speed's there, but maybe not as long, not as good as it was earlier in the race. If there was one car that Martin Trix Jr. said he would move, it was the 22, and now he's within striking distance. There he goes. Man, I, they are, I can't believe he can even get that close to him, Jeff. Get such, get such di uh, disturbed air behind those guys. Look at him. Now he's underneath him. He's going to go side straight draft. to the bottom of the racetrack. Side draft him. Turn way to the left. Get your left sides on this white line. D don't overdrive it. Going to clear the, the 22. Track. He goes. He's in front of the 22. Now will the 22 fight back? Good, we do. We're good. Here 22 leader, does not have Come enough on. grip right now to fight back. He doesn't. He's been having a little bit of trouble after 20 laps into these runs with his car. And with 48 to go, and knowing there's a pit stop left, clean, clean as a whistle. Never touch the 22. We'll see if he has that to do over again in 40 laps, how clean he goes by. But right there, Mark Trix Jr. shows he can pass it clean on the racetrack. 21 to go. It continues to whittle down on the 2018 season. The 78 trying to track down the four of Kevin Harvick. Again, Kyle Busch out front, but the gap between Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick now only 5.6 seconds. So unless a caution comes out in the next three laps, Kevin Harvick is going to catch Kyle Busch, and that strategy out the window. Kyle Busch running 35 seconds. And there's the caution. He has come out. The 19 of Daniel Suarez. You see the smoke coming out, and the right side has been slammed up against the wall. Merry Christmas to the 18. There's no bigger break for Kyle Busch. Talk about gambles. Adam Stevens may have just pulled off a championship winning strategy call. You see the top of the pit box. They know they didn't have a chance. They delivered a chance to their driver. Now it's time to communicate. Short run, 20 laps to go. A great pit stop. They need a great pit stop, Steve, and we've seen two bad ones already from them. Well, as Jeff pointed out, though, they still have Matt Kenseth in the second. They have a little buffer right there. So the first car they'll be racing will be Kevin Harvick. He'll enter in third. What a break for Kyle Busch. We see right here the 19 of Daniel Suarez. Oh. Four wide situation there. Yeah. And it was a domino effect. The 38 got into the two, the two into the 19 of Suarez. Suarez was able to save the car, but did blow the right front tire, sliding and flat spotting that tire. Throwing the debris all over the racetrack down the back straightaway. You see the reaction. The 18 team, when they get that caution they need, Keep himself alongside, but he's not going to be able to do it. 78 to the lead and clear. Martin 
Truex Jr. surging ahead by four car lengths. Coming to 14 to go. Martin tries to break the draft down the back straightaway. And he charges into the corner on the outside. Can't get the power down. Here comes Joey Logano to the inside. Now Logano side by side with the 18 per second. Side drafts him as they go into turn one. He buries it down into turn one. Trying to take charge on Truex up there. 22 sliding up the track, taking the lane from the 18, take, putting that 18 in dirty air. Still has that momentum though. Let's see what Joey Logano can do. Now he's clear. Championships right in front of him. 14 to go. And we know what Joey Logano will do. 18, oh, oh he didn't go to the bottom. And Truex on the top. Why did Truex go to the top? That was weird. He's not run there all night long. And you see what it's allowed to do. The 22 cars closed dramatically. That was, just, that was crazy. I don't know why he did that. Two doing it again. Just a big arc that Very time. Committed. Yeah, finish the bottom. Two car length the difference between the 78 and 22. He won't go to the top again. I'd be shocked if he went to the top again in three and four. These guys should have pretty clean races to finish. I doubt we'll catch many lap cars with only 13 laps to go. Come to 12 to go. Tricks back to the bottom. Yeah. 20. Logano knew it. Logano said, Drew X ain't going to do that again. He saw he gained on him. I'm going to go to the middle. It's Logano the run. Look at this run. He's had the short run speed all day long. He's got to be finished. It's kind of a run at the end. It's tailor-made for him. He's looking to the left. All the way to the back bumper of the 78. Now to the outside. Here comes Logano trying to take the lead away. down into turn one. How did that car stick? That's incredible. I thought he was just, I thought he overdrove the corner just in a desperation move. He Look made up. it stick. He could be closing in on his first title. The guys, we've seen this 78 get better as tires age. I know he lost that lead, but can he inch back in on the 22? And if he does, how patient will he be? 11 laps. He's going to have to start doing it right now. 78's taking about 8, 10, 11, 12 laps to fire off. 22 was four tenths faster that lap. Four tenths. Truex better find some speed right this minute. That, four, that 22 is going to be gone. Five laps away from a championship. Oh, I know. How, can you imagine how nervous he is? Just hoping no caution, hoping nothing happens. He's been in some pretty high, high pressure situations before. He's lost this championship before. Last year, it wasn't the evening in the playoffs. What a great turnaround for this team driving away from Martin Truex Jr. and everyone else. Two and a half tenths quicker that last lap. Second and a half lead. Coming to four to go. Rick, he said last week at Phoenix, he felt like he was the favorite. The first car to transfer into the championship four. Proving it right here with a pass on Martin Truex Jr. for the lead. And his competitors almost laughed at him. They were like, what do you mean? Why do you think, you know, they make fun of him for saying he's a, he was a big favorite. Well, now who's laughing? Under four laps to go, and Joey Logano going through lap traffic easily. Over a second and a half lead over Martin Trex Jr. The laps continue to click down. Now, just three laps to go. Last thing Joey Logano wants to see now is the yellow. Just three more green flag laps. I bet Joey Logano's dad traveled around Connecticut, Northeast with his, his son when he was young, racing quarter minutes. Can you imagine watching a six, seven, eight-year-old race quarter minutes? Can you imagine ever thinking you'd watch your son be in position to win a championship at this level of racing? They moved to Georgia. He then became one of the best at Bandoleros there. Won 14 races in a row as a youngster. And people have spotted that. They saw the talent, the raw talent that Joey Logano had. And now under two laps to go for Joey Logano. Truex Jr., Harvick, Kyle Busch, all just distant in his mirror. The four still running in the top four, but they're just chasing after the 22 of Joey Logano. This time by, one lap right to go. One lap away from his first Cup Series championship. Joey Logano at 28 years old. Fulfilling a dream. No threat, man. One, six, zero, the head. No pressure. No pressure at all. TJ Major's giving him the information. No pressure at all. Well, he has risen 
well above the pressure as he comes out of turn number four to claim his first ever Cup Series championship. It's Joey Logano who wins. <laughs> Joey, we talk about second chances all the time. How much of this night was about second chances for you and proving that you could do it? We did it. We won the championship. I can't believe it. I don't even know what to say. This team, Roger Penske, Todd Gordon, the pit crew, oh my God. These guys are amazing. They gave me the car I needed at the end to do my job. Put me in position to do my job. I couldn't be more proud of them. We won the championship, Marty. Oh my God.